Hi there guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to connect to Facebook uh, using React Native and Exponent. So the first thing first that we need to register a new app into Facebook for developers. So as you follow the documentation of Expo, you can see the first thing that we need to uh, open Facebook developer site, which I already have open here. And you can add a new app. As the documentation said, we can call the app Hello Hello World and we create the app ID. Yeah, then you enter this. I believe it's for security. LT. Yeah, so once you do this, the documentation said that to have this kind of view, have this kind of view that is just below the dashboard and the settings. You go to your settings here and you need to create the platform. So one will be for iOS and one will be for Android. And in order to add the bundle ID for exponent, in order to handle to wrap around all the all the hustle stuff. You add the bundle ID here, then you grab this and you use it for the Android one as a key hashes. Yeah, and you just go ahead and save the changes. Yeah, once you do this, you if you on your app for iOS, which is in my case, I want it for iOS as I'm testing the app into iOS device. Uh, what do I need to do? In my app.json, which is my project. So, so this is just like a normal template. Is the login uh, video that I've made like last week. Eh? If you want, I can put the link below in the description. All you need to do is like you go to your app.json, you add the Facebook scheme, like they say here, plus you go to your configure your info for PST and it should look like this, which is uh, this one, the dashboard. Not. Yeah, it says which you can find here. Let's try to do this. Yep. So yeah, you just scroll down. You can do it. But is section four, and this is our F Facebook string that we need to copy, and we need to paste it into our Facebook scheme. Save your app.json. You, you don't need to do any npm install as it will automatically do it for, for, for you. And that's pretty much it. If you do it for Android, then you need to run this command. But I'm not doing it now for Android, so I don't need to worry about this. I'm just running an iOS device. And the usage, the way you can do it, is to scrub this piece of example. Uh, grab this piece of example, go to your login screen, that for myself is the first thing that you will see when you log in, when you open the app, you don't need, don't need the function, so let's customize it using FB. Uh, then you need to grab your app ID that you create, when you create the app, you paste it here. Just this in the middle. So you just do it here and that's pretty much it. You need to do a button that would take this method. And the button in our case we can do we can literally just 
copy this. Connect with Facebook and you can grab this and put it here. And that's it. This should work. Let me just show you quickly how I did it. So, uh, yeah, let's try this. Miss. So yeah, guys, if I click on connect with Facebook, it will open a new window that looks really, really nice and fancy. And yeah, here you just put your details of. Facebook and password and yeah. so the the app called hello world will receive my public profile and I want to continue as mob so continue and yeah I just got the alert saying hi mob uh, if you want to also have the picture, the one from Facebook and your username, before I, I've tried a couple of things before, just go ahead and add them here. Um, so what you need to do, if you need to, if you want to add the picture, instead of having this URL, you can have this one that will allow you to give you the ID, name, picture, and the type of the picture will be large. And then what I did is I just set, I declare a new constant called user info, and I'm getting all the response in a JSON format, and I'll send it to this constant. Once I get this constant, I do this dot set state and I set user info which is just up here and here is just no so once I do this uh, you can uh, I created another method which I'm just gonna copy and paste just for the sake of making the tutorial a little bit more quicker uh, and I call the render user info this will uh, it will show me the picture of the user in 100 by 100 with the border is just like 50 so it will be like a circle and it will also show me the name of the user and the ID and the way I call it is is through an if statement I'm just gonna copy here just gonna paste here I need to get rid of this button connect with Facebook because I don't need them anymore so what I'm saying here if this dot set state is undefined just render a button that is called connect with Facebook else render my information so if this dot state user info is not undefined you need to render uh, you need to call this method that will return just this view. So let's go ahead and try it. Okay, so let's try again. Oh, set my details. Yeah, continue. Yeah, that's it. I got my really nice picture and my username and my ID. 
Uh, I'm not sure about this warning, but I'm gonna look into it and I'm gonna write on the comments if I can get rid of it because I think it's a warning from from Expo, but I'm not too sure. I need to look into it. Yeah. At the moment, you got my picture, username, and ID, and you can use this as a user authentication. In the next video, I would also do. Facebook authentication using Firebase and not Expo, but yeah If you like this video, please like and, sub and, sub and subscribe Thank you